Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Please excuse the fire alarm. They are testing them, and if I wait till they're done, I may never do this <laughs> or forget. I found my journal. <laughs> I was so determined to find it. Last night I was cutting open boxes and I never found it. And I said, Lord, you got to help me find that thing. I was beginning to think one of them took it just to read and bring back maybe. I just, you know, because I, I was looking everywhere. Well, there was this one big box labeled wall hangings that I didn't bother to open. <laughs> I cut it open. I said, surely it's in here. And it was. It just got stuffed in between some pictures, I guess, to pad them. I don't remember doing it, but I did it. <laughs> anyway, this is just a follow-up to the video. I wonder if I wait. They do this all the time. I'm like, can't they get it right? At least it's toned down. It's not as loud as it used to be. So, <laughs> okay. You've heard me do videos with fire alarms going off before. Okay, this is from... Like I started to say, it's a follow-up to the video I did on idols. And I wanted those of you who may be concerned to know what is not an idol okay all right this was so sweet because I had listened to somebody who supposedly got a word from the Lord well maybe they did as someone that was trying to tell me how to run my my um, channel that I had gotten quite close to told me I had to get rid of everything like this. All right, let me tell you. I am, this was, I'm sorry, Wednesday morning, January 28th, 2015 at 2.25 a.m. He woke me up and gave me this message because it made me cry. I threw all my birds in a sack. Some of you may remember this story. And I had a bird at that time that when you walked by it, it would chirp. It wasn't an expensive item. It came from the Dollar Tree. But it, it just had a thing in it that when you walked by, it would chirp. When I threw those birds in the sack, I mean, I, I didn't want to break them, but so I was careful. And I put that one in there. I tied it up. I was going to take them to the trash. And that bird kept going off and off and off. Chirp, 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 chirp. I, it was like it was saying, let me out, let me out. I mean, seriously, I started crying. <laughs> I'm just tender hearted <laughs> and I took all my birds out of that sack and I was crying and praying and I said Lord is it really a sin for me to have these birds I don't worship them they just remind me of how you take care of us because you took care of your birds you know from scripture he tells us not a single sparrow will fall he doesn't know about how much more important are we to him well listen to this I am the Lord thy God you shall have no other this is your Savior and I have a word for you do not let others influence what you know to be true be careful who you listen to Listen to me. You know the truth. Live by it. Not someone's opinion. Keep your birds if they remind you of how I care for my creation. Do not have 
idols that you love more than me. I cannot tolerate that. You are my daughter, my bride. Thank you for making little white flowers for your hair. You may have seen me wear that that hair comb and I glued little white flowers on it and I took a barrette and glued them on that. Well, that's long gone. I don't know where it is. I may find it. <laughs> but I think some of the roses fell off. Anyway, I had ordered little white roses from Amazon and glued them on for my hair. <laughs> And I don't remember why. It was from some message or something somebody put up. I don't remember. Okay, he said, uh, Thank you for making little white flowers for your hair. This is what I want. Do not worry about your hair. See, I've been cutting it short and I worried about it. I know why you cut it. Keep it clean the best you can. When you wear your wig if you want. See, I bought a wig because I was so worried about having such short hair. And then I thought, well, is it wrong to wear a wig? Because somebody had done a video about makeup and wigs. And I'm like, Lord, what, what do I do? I said, is it wrong now for me to wear my wig? And this was all kind of around the same time. Okay, so he said, wear your wig if you want. I understand. I love, he, he knew what I was thinking. He knows our minds, our thoughts, and our heart. He knows our intentions, okay? So if you're wearing the wig to look sexy, that's one thing. I was wearing it because I was worried about my hair being too short and, and um, thinking something about that which I don't need to get into because this is not about that. I understand. I love the little white flowers in your hair. This is your King Jesus speaking. And that was it. Okay. Oh, this was in the message about the paganism of Christmas. Okay, so now I can go through here and find the one about the two raptures. And I'm going to listen to my video about all the scriptures I found. Jot them down. Pull them all up in Blue Letter Bible tabs so I can do it again. And perhaps make it a little more cohesive. And so I'll be working on that today now that I found my journal. And I wanted to share that with you because I didn't want anybody to do what I did thinking that every image or statue, or whatever, that you have is an idol. And I didn't want you going around throwing away every picture on your wall, every statue of a bird or flowers I mentioned flowers on a pedestal they used to worship lotus uh, some religion worships lotus flowers see and we don't we if we have them in our home it's because they're pretty I don't think any of you kneel down and worship oh great lotus flower bring me blessings today I don't think any of us do that really do we no we put flower if you've got a beautiful porcelain flower and it just reminds you of God's beautiful creation you keep it someone's at my door I gotta go I will talk to you later